Taylor's alleged stalker arrested again. David Crow taken into custody for the third time in the last five days. Handcuffed, perp walked by the NYPD, telling reporters why he violated a judge's protective order just hours after he bailed out. I had to go back to the pants so I could survive. The 33-year-old Seattle resident was busted, dumpster diving near the superstar's apartment. His first arrest was Saturday, the day before Taylor went to Buffalo for her boyfriend Travis Kelsey's playoff win. But Crow has been spotted over 30 times in the past few months near Taylor's Tribeca home. He's now charged with stalking and harassment and has pleaded not guilty. This is the 16th stalker that we know of that Taylor Swift has. 16. Whoa. TMZ investigates dove deep into the celebrity stalker epidemic. This is a an immediate urgent problem. Does she have a phalanx of security? She has significant security. People tend to show up uninvited, like, you know, dudes that think we have an imaginary marriage. In 2019, Taylor revealed on CBS Sunday morning the extreme measures she goes to for her own safety in face of threats. You mentioned that you keep wound dressing with you? Yeah, I've had a lot of stalkers show up to the house armed, so we have to think that way. She has wound dressing, so she is calculating that she could get shot. My dad has always just been so terrified about my safety. I'm the guy that went out and bought armored cars. The fear for her safety has long been on her mind and her family's. In her 2018 Netflix documentary, Miss Americana, Taylor's parents clearly concerned for their daughter's security. I worry for her safety as much as anybody does, maybe more. There are so many threats we get on a daily basis that nobody ever knows about, and we try to keep that stuff under wraps as much as possible. But in recent days and months, Taylor has not been afraid to step out in New York. She stepped out at Nobu on Tuesday with Brittany Mahomes and Cara Delevingne, and she has been a fixture at her Big Apple recording studio. Hey, Taylor, right here. And the troubling story gaining steam across media with this New York Post headline that echoes everyone's fears for the biggest pop star in the world. Taylor Swift can't be the next John Lennon. She and all New Yorkers must be protected.